Hello, my name is Christine Collins. Good morning. On March 10th, my nine-year-old son, Walter Collins, disappeared. She's just a woman who I came through reading her story and reading articles about her, and came to admire. They told me and all of you that this boy was my son. He was not my son. I just read this script and couldn't stop reading, and when she'd get back up, I'd think, good, you're back up. And then when this happened to her, I'd think, I hope you do something about this. And I hope that this now will persuade them to finish what they started and bring my son home to me. Thank you very much. Up against the wall. Come, 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 come. All right. Got it. Got it. Look, look. She was just an ordinary working lady. All right, sit down. Your breakfast is getting cold. As a telephone operator, and uh, all this wild stuff happened to her. He's alive, Mrs. Collins. <laughs> the 20s is actually very nice for this period. I, I found it very fitting. Um, and I say that in, in talking about character because to get into the wardrobe was the first thing I did, and it really helped me to be her. Mrs. Collins, listen to me. I, I, I understand. You're feeling a little uncertain right now, and that's to be expected. Boy, this age, it changes so fast. That is not Walter. We sat down and we spoke about her character, and she did want to play a, a, a maternal character, you know, feminine. So that part she, she wanted to do. Because it is a true story, we went back to the actual research of the real Christine, and we tried to pull some of her characteristics and brought them to Angelina's character. Walter, it's time to come in, honey! There was something about the clothes that, that are very sweet. They're kind of doll clothes, and they kind of make you feel a little softer, and the little garter belts and little, sh little shoes, and little, there's something just so delicate, and you find yourself with your gloves on, and you just, something happens as, as a lady. <laughs> And then the funnier side of the period was having to roller skate while being a telephone operator, which I found one of the funniest things I've ever done in my career. The skates that we actually got for her were the, the clip-on skates with the keys, you know, and you just add them to your shoes. Which is great that it's in, because there's some, some like kind of nutty 20s things that, that people did, because they roller skated with heels on. So it was feminine. <laughs> Hello, this is the supervisor. How can I help you? I love this blazer, and it's a 20 style jacket with the, the dropped waistline. Actually, she wore this in the movie when she went to visit the Reverend for the first time. Reverend, I, I appreciate everything that you're doing and everything that you said, but I'm not on a mission. I just want my son home. The 20s hats are very are very much like this. And, and there's something about that that feels very, um, makes you feel very shy, and you end up hiding behind a lot. When Walter was here, I used to walk by his room when he was sleeping. And even though I couldn't see him or hear him, I could feel him. That's why I don't think Walter's dead. She liked to wear this hat. The hat is a, a cloche hat, and it fits closely to the head and it fits right over her eyebrows. And uh, she wore this many times in the movie. Mr. Northcott, you asked me to come here. You said that if I did, you would tell me the truth about my son. I didn't really think that you would come. Now we've moved on to the 30s. We have a waist, you can see the waist, and we have a, a bust. So this silhouette is definitely more shapely and more feminine. It has decorative stitching, which was really popular of the 30s. When it is, it happened one night. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She loved this dress. She loved all the clothes. Dinner is on me. It's quite an amazing journey that this real woman went through and all the different things that happened to her. Angelina is a tremendous actress, and she's uh, very intuitive. And she kind of understands things, comes well prepared loves to do the work and gets it done very efficiently, which I love. She's right up my alley. <laughs>